This is a podcast from the Radcliffe Department of Medicine. Dr Christian Egerling tells us how new imaging methods helps us understand immunology at the molecular level. Hello Christian. Hi. Can you tell us about the techniques you use to study living cells? It's called super resolution optical microscopy. Why do we use optical microscopy? Because living cells, to study them, you want to be non-invasive. And light and using lenses that are far away from the cell are optimal for that. But there's a problem with using these tools because the spatial resolution is limited. So if you study processes within the cell, at some point you, it just appears blurred on an image. You, you cannot uh, resolve these details. Now what I worked on over the last years is we try to surpass this limitation because we are connecting it with fluorescent labels. And we can somehow manipulate these fluorescent labels to surpass this physical barrier. And now we can study the living cell with unprecedented um, spatial resolution. And what is nanoimmunology? Now we use these super resolution microscopes to study immunological processes, like processes that, that go on when a virus attacks um, the body. How do the cells um, react on this? And we, by using these super resolved techniques, we can now study every, these reactions on the molecular level, really down to the protein, single protein level. And can this technology help us treat disease? It can, because now we can get new insights in how our body reacts to viral bacterial attacks on the molecular levels. Nothing, not so much is known so far. And now we can really dig into this and resolve new processes, new details of these attack responses. And what are the most important lines of research that have developed over the past five or ten years? Well, of course, one thing is um, based on our super resolution microscope techniques because now we get more sensitive to uh, study the living cell, to study processes. And on the other hand, it's also the drug discovery is getting, wants to use more sensitive tools. Fluorescence microscopy is one of these tools. And now, approaching this with even a better resolution, will now. Um, approach these problems with high, much higher details and m much more precision. So why does your line of research matter? Why should we put money into it? The super resolution microscope techniques, we showed that they work, but to apply them and to apply them in a way that we can resolve much more details on, on what is going on after viral attack and bacterial attack, um, attacks, gives, of course, a huge potential in finding out how drugs interact on the molecular level. And for me, why did I come to Oxford? It's a big chance to show that these super resolution microscopes really work in a really important application. My own f uh, personal reasons are that I have some diseases in my um, family, even a death case. And I just would love to contribute to biomedical research in this way. And how does your research fit into translational medicine within the department? Resolving new details on the molecular level and how drugs interact on this um, level, of course, gives a lot of potential to design new drugs, to develop new drugs in a high throughput screening platform and translate this into new uh, ways of treating diseases. Thank you, Christian.